At Target, we make inclusive swimsuits for marginalized people. But what about marginalized kids? Here's our new LGBTQ plus rainbow unicorn swimsuit for kids. Also introducing our new Tucker Johnson line. If your little boy identifies as a girl but hasn't been lucky enough to undergo bottom surgery yet, we've included a pouch for her to tuck her Johnson in. Here at Target, we love to target your kids. That's totally Target. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarry. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. It's an uh, interesting week as um, customer boycotts seem to be working. Target has been under immense backlash for several items that they featured prominently in the front of their store in their pride collections. Now, uh, I've been on record saying, you know, I don't have any problem whatsoever with this stuff existing. So if people are a little more um, rigid about that and maybe for religious beliefs. And I understand that and respect that. Uh, for me, I'm not offended that it exists. It's just when it gets into the, first of all, people are sick of having it crammed in their face. Um, and second of all, when there's anything that kind of remotely targets um, youth, uh, then it gets a little suspect, right? And now it seems like people have really mobilized against these companies who really want to politicize and push ideology on their customers. This is, you know, a core tenant of this channel is covering companies like this or Bud Light or Miller Lite uh, being stupid. Uh, you know, that's essentially exactly why I started Coffee Brand Coffee. And that's why it's like called Coffee Brand Coffee. It's not called like a oh, liberal tears coffee or like anything branded like that. Like people say the name's silly, but like that's the point of it. And uh, it looks now like Target has confirmed that they have removed several pride items. Their stock is headed south today. Um, that's the penalty generally for uh, pushing back against this. So let's take a look at this story. I wanna tell everyone uh, as a pre-sale right now, um, our wildly popular gift boxes that we sold for Mother's Day, uh, we sold out about a week before the shipping cutoff day. I know Father's Day is still three weeks away roughly, but I, I'm going to open it up to my viewers first before I turn on any ads or anything like that to make sure my viewers can get theirs. Um, it hurt. It stinks when people are like, oh, I wanted to get one and you sold out. Um, promo code DAD will save you 10% on it too. And look at, we've got brand new. First of all, you can customize it. If you know what DAD likes, uh, you can customize it, get him flavored coffee, dark roast, light roast, tea, cocoa, whatever you want. But check out these pre-belts we've got. We've got seven new snacks roasted and salted cashews buttery toffee peanut bombs spicy and sweet treat mix which is ridiculously good uh and then a bag of our our delicious medium roast coffee uh and then in the kids favorite father's day kids favorite we have uh even more stuff we have salt water taffy we have a deluxe nut delight the spicy and sweet treat buttery toffee peanut bombs, and then the roasted and salted cashews. So you've got an absolute delicious, delicious array of snacks. And also there's a card in there for your dad with a special discount for him and some kind words. Um, and also you can do the customize and build your own. So um, and it's right here in the United States and we don't get woke. We don't push politics. We just focus on roasting the best imaginable coffee, tea, and cocoa uh, for our customers. So pick yours up today before they sell out. And I know you're like, dude, it's late. You know, it's not even June yet. Trust me, they sell out every time. Our Mother's Day one sold out. Father's Day will too. Target removes some Pride Month products after facing threats. Now, I don't believe that their employees were getting threats. I believe that this was extremely well calculated PR speak. Because if you say that we're removing it for our... Um, you know, uh, we're removing it for our employee safety, then you're not actually making the decision to remove it. You're doing it for your customer safety, right? Target will remove some of its LGBTQ plus merchandise in its Pride Month collection after facing backlash that threatened the safety of its workers. Again, I don't believe that. Also, I hugely disavow that. I've worked in most of my jobs until, you know, I was in my 30s with retail jobs. If someone came in and was giving me grief over stuff that 
you know, I had nothing to do with, um, you know, that's not okay. Uh, the company's website features hundreds of colorful pride products, including rainbow shirts for men, pint glasses embellished with cheers, queers, and a children's book about pronouns and other things. By the way, again, I don't have any problem with these products existing um, other than the ones that are for kids, okay? Um, and, like, that that's, I think, where I draw the line. Um, I have lots of, well, I don't really have any IRL friends that are, Barely any BTQs in real life, but I do have uh, gay friends, and I, they would agree with me that it's like the kid stuff is creepy and weird. Why are you selling that? Um, so you have that, and then the companies. So Target, the largest, one of the largest American general merchandise retailers that operates more than 1,900 stores with store wide, said it offered products celebrating Pride Month typically in June for more than a decade, which is true. But this year's collection led to threats imperiling the safety of the staff, company spokeswoman Kayla Castaneda, Castaneda said in a statement. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, rem including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. See, the thing is, people don't, I don't think most people cared about, oh, there's a pride display. Like, Duh, it's June. Get used to it. Every major global corporation is going to be cramming it down your throat for the entire month. Um, and, you know, that's you can choose to shop some, somewhere else. People are used to it by now. But it's the kid stuff. It's the tuck friendly. It's like the slippery slope, right? The company did not specify which items are being removed, but misinformation in recent days has centered on its children's bathing suits that were falsely labeled as tuck friendly. By prominent conservative groups, they weren't. They were bathing suits that were tuck friendly. I don't know if they were for kids or not. The tuck friendly swimming suits were only for adults. Okay, the Associated Press reported. Um, again, like the slippery slope has pushed people now to where they're very reactive, and I understand why. Some conservatives have also called for a boycott of Target over its partnership with the UK-based brand Abpralim, which claim which they claim. Features satanic designs, Satanist designs. Some of their pieces that Target was selling, including a sweatshirt, including an image of a snake with a line that says cure transphobia, not trans people, as well as a messenger bag that, re that says we belong everywhere. In an earlier Instagram post from the designer flagged by conservative media groups reads, quote, Satan respects pronouns. The caption explains that Satanists do not believe in Satan, but invoke him as a symbol of passion and pride. I mean, this is, I mean, it's just like pick anyone else, bro. Like, pick literally anyone else. And again, this thing says, uh, now Target removed LGBTQ merch for employee safety. Now the designer is getting threats. Again, I never actually see any of this stuff. It's so weird for all these journalists to never provide any evidence or any proof of it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I know for a fact it's not happening, but what I want to know is, you're a target and you're a huge corporation with what, 1,200 stores and 100,000 employees or whatever. How many of those employees actually received any kind of credible threat? Is it one? I bet you it was one. And I bet you it was some weirdo, a non thing that isn't even credible. They would have you believe that it's they're, they're under attack. Their employees are under attack. Okay, then you would, you would see videos of it, wouldn't you? You would see all sorts of, of things. Now, I don't support going into the store and even like harassing their employees, saying like, oh, where's the straight pride stuff? Dude, these people make, they don't make enough to deal with your BS, okay? I've seen a lot of conservatives going in to Target and be like, oh, excuse me, man, where's the straight? Don't do that. <laughs> they don't get, they're just trying to get through their day. They're not trying to get involved in your political stuff, filming them, getting in their face. It has happened. Uh, that stuff. Now, I've not seen an aggressive or a threat or anything like that. But, dude, that's cringe and bad. Okay. Um, but, you know, that's a very small percentage. And, you know, I probably saw two or three videos like that. Um, the whole quote, unquote, or the quote, the whole situation has been far worse than I could have imagined in terms of pushback against my person. This is the Satanist. Carnell tells Rolling Stone over email. I've received innumerable threats, innumerable. Well, then I should probably see a half dozen on the, in this report. Ah, but there are none. Interesting. Um, 
These are only being outnumbered by the sheer volume of hate messages I received. I'm upset over the lies that have been spread about me and the falsehood that I designed so-called satanic items for kids at Target. I designed items only for the adult sections, none of which had any occult or otherwise satanic imagery. And that is true. The two items that this dude did design were not like weird, you know? Um, I think that that's, you know, you've got to be truthful. You've got you to gotta tell the truth. Now, certain items sold by their company do include that imagery. The sweatshirts and tote bags that were designed for Target were not. Currently, no results for the company appear when searched directly through Target, and users accessing the items through Google are redirected to a product not available. I mean, Carnell explains that while he understands the importance of employee safety, he believes Target could have approached this response differently. I wish that Target had taken a different approach such as employing more security. Oh, that's what they should do. P pay more security guards um, to remove disruptive patrons instead of removing or shrinking the pride displays, he says. I do, however, understand that employees' physical safety comes first, as it should, particularly in open carry states. This dude doesn't even know. So uh, these is another classic non-American that has no idea what uh, <laughs> carry states are like or what, you know, you walk into a store with you know, five dudes open carrying, you'll never be safer. Um, there, we're not, it's not like the wild west. We're like, yeah, pew, 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 pew. Those people are carrying illegally. Okay. The people that carry legally are not doing that. They're not Yosemite Samming out there. Weehaw. I saved two ninety nine on a steak. That, that doesn't happen. Brits. Okay. I love you, but that doesn't happen. Now you go to Chicago. Those people are not, conceal and carry people. Those are criminals. Okay. Um, the, you know, and what's interesting is, you know, target removes pride month merchandise after threats. Um, now governor Newsom goes after them, knocks target for pulling LGBTQ merchandise from stores. Gavin Newsom, of course, quote, CEO of target, Brian Cornell selling out the LGBT community to extremists is a real profile and courage. This isn't just a couple of stores in the South. There's a systemic attack on the gay community happening across the country. Really? Can you provide evidence of that? To me, it seems like that community is the mo one of the most powerful, maybe not, if not the most powerful in terms of social currency in the United States. Wake up, America. What does it stop here? You're black, you're Asian, you're Jewish, you're a woman. You're next. I mean, the fear mongering is amazing. This is like legendary level. They took three or four items off uh their three or four items off their register and some of the are off their products and you know what i don't care about if you have a problem with a product you know when they especially targeting kids i'm fine with that i'm fine with people being outraged by that um and that seems where all this is coming from it's not coming from you know there are people saying i walk in the door and here it is yeah it has existed it has existed um but people have had enough and can you blame them? I mean, this Pride Month is going to be the most battle frenzied ever. And this is why corporations shouldn't get involved because 99.9999999999% of the sales that Target will make this year will not be this small amount of Pride stuff, okay? But what they are what's important to them is that they virtue signal and they and they and they and they make this stuff out there and they tell everyone that they're woke. That's why Coffee Brand Coffee doesn't do that. And to wrap up the video, link in the description and pinned comment. Make sure you get your Father's Day gift box or your kid's favorite edition or custom build it. If you go to the customize, our builder is really cool. You can pick what candies, what coffees, um, what if they like flavored, unflavored, dark light roast, you can get whatever you want. Build your box, um, get your premium candy and snacks here. Pick ones, which ones you think they would like. Maybe you want two of one or three. So that most people, about 50% of people do the custom builds. Um, but uh, let, me, let me make Father's Day real easy for you. There's even a nice card in there. It comes in a nice gift box. So it's, you don't even have to worry about wrapping it. I got you, friends. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And we'll talk to you again real soon.